All right, it's Monday Monday, and it's no surprise to anyone about the ongoing issues in Syria. But have to, but have you um, noticed the flux in gas prices? Well, President and CEO of Great Lakes Credit Union, Dave Seeger, joins us on this Monday morning, working overtime this morning, yeah. David, on this holiday. Good thing. morning. Thanks Good morning. for coming in. Oh, you bet. Yeah. Gasoline prices, boy, I tell you, three dollars fifty-eight cents is the local average right, right. now. Well, so what comprises that number? How did we get there to begin with? Well, largely it's driven by a commodity market. And in this case, looking at, this is as you stand right now, in the world markets, that's what we're trading oil at for a regular uh, crude, $106.92 a barrel. Now, the, and it just changed. Yeah. And uh, the Brent is what you should watch more closely because that's the, the type of oil that we use for our gas lead uh, production for the most part. That's at 11407 hmm. The key to it is, number one, they're over $100 a barrel right now. So that's what we're looking at. But what drives those numbers? And why do they go so wildly? Well, that's largely due to speculation. Uh, there are market, uh, marketers out there and they speculate in the market where we're going to be, where we're going to be with gasoline prices, is going to be availability. Well, right now, there's been no fluctuations in terms of availability, in terms of oil, oil production, or anything else. What they're concerned about is this, what's going on in the Mideast, specifically right. in Syria. Now, there's been a little bit of a declination in uh, gasoline prices over the last uh, couple, of, couple, of, couple of days, largely because, one, the British Parliament decided not to go with the United States to attack Syria, and um, we kept the can down the road on the decision of what we're going to do in Syria uh, that the President announced on Saturday. So that took some pressure off. Now, these wild fluctuations, they can, they can play a lot of havoc with, with a lot of consumers in terms of their, uh, what they're, they're paying for gasoline and their affordability. It is speculated that for an average tank of gas for a car, uh -huh. it can increase the, the, um, uh, the, the price of that by $8 a tank. Eight dollars. Eight dollars a tank. tank. What oh. what's going to cause what could cause the, that? The, the, the speculation? The speculation. Now, and nothing nothing to do with um, the flow of oil coming right. through right. Uh, the uh, the Station Muth or uh, through the Suez Canal. Nothing to do with that because that's all is flowing fr freely. It is just a speculation idea of it. Oh, huh. ouch! Wow. Eight dollars for a uh, for a tank as, as to, to the cost of a tank of gas. And do the speculators make money when they do this? <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. Now we can put two and two together there and uh, see what we come up with. But yeah, yeah that it it it, it, it is really wild and that's what it's supposed, to, it's supposed to smooth out prices that's the concept of it, it has done anything but that yeah ouch all right, right. thanks david you appreciate bet. it